Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Pet Info World. Today I'll be discussing on what all things you need to know about pet allergies. So let's start then. So first I'll tell you what is allergy. Allergy is condition in which immune system of our body reacts to harmless substances known as allergen. So what is allergen? Allergen can be dust, pollen grains, pet dander and many things. So what is pet allergy? Pet allergy is allergic reaction to the proteins found in animals skin cells, urine or saliva. So here the allergen is pet dander. Pet dander is composed of tiny or even microscopic flecks of skin of cats, dogs, rabbits, birds and many other animals with fur or feathers. So what are causes of pet allergy? Pet allergy is triggered by exposure to pet dander. Any animal with fur can be a source of pet allergy. But pet allergies are mostly associated with cats and dogs. So what are symptoms of pet allergy? If you are allergic to your pet, then you may notice symptoms right away or it may take few days to show up. So symptoms may include chest tightness or trouble in breathing, congestion, coughing, eczema, facial pressure or pain, itchy or watery eyes, runny nose, skin rash, sneezing, swelling under your eyes, waking up a lot during night. Many of these are also sign of common cold. But if the symptoms last for more than two weeks, then you may have allergy and you should consult your doctor. How to diagnose whether you have a pet allergy? If you have watery eyes, stuffy or running nose, then they might be symptoms of cold. But if you observe these symptoms only while you are near your pet, then there might be possibility that you have a pet allergy. It's good to know that you have a pet allergy so that you can stay away from those who trigger your allergy. You can also take skin tests to diagnose pet allergy. This is known as skin prick test. Here your doctor will prick your skin or make a small scratch on the surface so that allergen gets underneath it. Don't worry, the skin prick won't make you bleed. You will just feel it but it won't hurt. The doctor will probably test several things on the same time. If one of the areas swells up and gets red like mosquito bite, then probably you are allergic to that particular allergen. For example, if you are allergic to pet, then the skin where pet dander was placed will get swollen and red. That means you have a pet allergy. So soon doctor will apply medicine on that skin and you will get relief within 30 minutes or it may take few hours. So here are some pet allergy management and treatments. If you have pet at home, then avoid exposure to it. Take steps to limit the exposure. Nasal sprays, antihistamines and bronchodilators may relieve your symptoms temporarily, but you need to consult your doctor soon. You should avoid hugging and kissing your pets. If you do so, then you need to wash your hands with water and soap. Regular use of high efficiency vacuum cleaners or central vacuum can avoid the allergen level. Giving your pet a bath once in a week can reduce airborne allergens. So these are some of the things you need to know about pet allergies. So that if you are allergic to pet, then you need to think before buying or adopting a pet. <laughs> pet allergy is aller If you have a pet allergy, you or nasal congestion, sneezing, coughing, soon you will notice Here, your doctor, doctor, don't worry, the skin prick won't, let's say, the bath once a week can reduce airborne, air 
If you have anything else or any suggestions which you want me to cover in my upcoming videos, then please do share it in the comment section below. If you like my videos and want to see more such videos, then don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you won't miss any updates. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye.